It's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns and beautiful. Oh yeah, almost 90 degrees. Atlanta, Georgia. Today is June the 25th, 2023. So on today's video, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick update on how the grass is doing on the hill that I'm trying to get to uh, fill in. And uh, so before I show you that, I did a video on how to do the risers. So I had all this grass that I had to take out of here in order to dig down and get to the septic tank cap. So instead of just throwing it away, I took every piece of grass that I cut out and just um, basically put it on the hill there and have been watering this once or twice a day, depending on the weather. Um, and it's doing phenomenal going really good so i think if you go back and look at the original video i did this has started to creep over um quite a ways you can see the uh let me see you can see all these runners these are bermuda grass runners that's how it spreads it is doing very nicely it's um yeah it's doing good so i took the uh, pro plugger originally and put a lot of plugs and then I was like, you know what? I've got to cut out huge sections of the uh, the grass there to do the riser. So as I was uh, as I was digging, I just took out the big squares and just placed them in there. And uh, they're already, you can see, they're already starting to put out runners. See, so look at this sucker. So um, here is the new question. I guess that's. Did I cheat on that? I just, modif just modified it a little bit. I didn't cheat. It's my grass. Anyway, um, I think that this would have creeped over almost all the way with the amount of water this gets. This area that um, is constantly sprinkled grows like just absolutely like crazy. I mean, it'll grow in the railroad tie. It's uh, So I'm thinking that, uh, let's see, we're... We're almost done with June. We have July, August, and September. All right. As long as the heat stays up, that's 90 more days. I am pretty confident that this will fill in pretty good. So, yeah, I'm pleased with how I'm pleased with how all the uh, plugs are doing. They're all every one of them is putting out, tacking down runners. It seems like. I dug them pretty deep too. It was several uh, several inches, so it's thicker than if you had regular sod. So they weren't ever heat stressed. Um, these plugs got heat stressed. In fact, for a while I thought some of them died, but they're they're doing good. They're putting out runners. And I did plugs, I did plugs up here until I decided just to to utilize the grass that was coming out of there. So that is the new question. How long do you think? And I'm going to water this. I already watered it today. I'm going to water it again this evening. It's going to get watered every single day. Minimum of once. Probably twice. That soil right there normally is brick hard. And because I've kept moisture on it, it's very easy for the roots and the, the runners to grow. So um, I haven't put a mower on here. You can see where I... Right there, that line there. Um... I probably will do a weed eater over here just skim the top off just a little bit not today but um, that will encourage that encourages Bermuda to actually spread out and thicken up so yeah I'm pleased with it I'm hoping that uh, hoping this year that it'll go ahead and and fill in now here's the other question I haven't even watered this at all um, I don't know I may I may start watering this area to get it to fill in so we'll see but yeah tell me how long from now June 25th 2023 how long under the new situation we have here how long do you think it will fill in with this uh, the way we have it now put it down in the comments 
And if you have any questions, any concerns, if you have any of your own experiences about getting really thick Bermuda to spread like that, please put it on there. And I will talk to you guys on the next video.